Have you heard the story about the GPS donkey? Hey, I'm Andy Ross, one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona, and thanks for clicking on our midweek moment summer video devotional. I have here a GPS unit that I still use to this day. I have a car that lives in the world between old fashioned maps and embedded navigational devices inside it or on your phone. It, it's an era where I got a, a GPS unit to literally carry with me in the car so that I can navigate around. Very useful. Global positioning system. Like the device in your phone or something like this, it beams up to satellites, beams back, locates where you are, and gives you directions. This Sunday in church, uh, as a part of our summer Tell Me a Story series, we're going to be reading the story in the book of Numbers in the Old Testament about a donkey, uh, donkey talk, a donkey that spoke up when uh, Balaam was going astray. The donkey even asks, God opens its mouth, why have you beaten me these three times? I'm giving you directions. God will go to great lengths to guide us and give us good directions. I'd like for you to think about that this week. How is God, the Spirit of God, guiding you today, this week, with the choices you're facing, the struggles you're concerned about, people in your life you're a bit worried about? How is God guiding you in a path of right living, goodness, health, and in a way where your life is connecting with others for blessing and not harm. Will it take a donkey? Right? We find God's guidance in prayer as we read his word, the Bible, and as we think and relate and listen to people we know who are wise, people we trust. It's one of the core reasons for church that we have each other for life support and guidance. So you may have one of these, or you're probably already using the navigation system on your own devices, your phone, but how is the Holy Spirit guiding you? And are you listening or just beating your donkey with a stick, right? We're going to think about that in worship this Sunday. Hope you can be with us. And I hope along the way, your pathways are the pathways of God's goodness, purpose, and peace. The Lord be with you, and I hope to see you in church.